G'day guys and welcome back to Getting Blind, our blind tasting show where we take on the industry's best in a blind tasting battle to the death. This week, Tom and I are off to the Hunter Valley, so I've thrown a couple of wines in the car so Tom can take on Mike Diulius, one of our favourite Hunter Valley winemakers. Mike's a big gun, he's an experienced wine show judge, a legend of a bloke. A bit shy though, not sure how he's going to do on camera, so we'll have to see. This is Mike. I am having a good time. I don't feel threatened at all. Are rolling? I'm kind of nervous, dude. <laughs> no, he's got the home ground advantage. <laughs> I like that there's no spittoon here as well. Does it matter if I move in or if you, would you prefer me to stay in one? No, Mike's good. He's good. He's good. He's been on the show circuit. Mike Diulius. Is that how you pronounce it? Diulius? No. How do you spell it? This is usually what I do on a uh, Tuesday afternoon. I just sit in my barrel shed and drink random wines. I felt much more comfortable when we were doing this back at, back at different drops. So this is where the years of me pretending to know what I'm talking about just all comes under. It's crashing down. Crashing down. In front of your face. I'm a fraud. <laughs> Am I allowed to swear on YouTube? We're doing this at the end of a day's wine drinking in the Hunter Valley. So all I can taste is Semillon yeah. and Hunter Valley Shiraz. <laughs> Yeah, all right, let's have a look. One, one. Looking at the colour, it's either got, like, without tasting, without smelling it, I'm like, yep, it's got some age or it's got some kind of skin contact oxidative handling. First thing I'm feeling is a bit of age on this. I mean, colour is a little bit of a giveaway, but that can come from a few different areas, but definitely feels a little developed. Smelling it, it definitely smells like it's got age. It actually smells a little bit old Hunter Semion-ish. Smells good. Yeah, I, I, I'm in the kind of aged Chardonnay, maybe ironically aged Semillon sort of territory at first glance, I haven't tasted yet. I reckon, I reckon you would bring an old Hunter Sam just to fuck with me. <laughs> and just when I go, it's from the fucking Jura. <laughs> yeah, so it's from the fucking Jura. You bought me some fucking skin contact thing. You, oh, it's a fucking Hunter Semillon, you dumb prick. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty bullish on what this might be. I reckon this is an aged Hunter Valley Semillon. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm calling. It doesn't typically smell like Semillon though. It's just got a lot of tertiary things going on with it. So distinct. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, then it just looks very silly. I need to have another taste. It's very important I have another taste. Okay. As a drink, it tastes like old white wine. Could be Chardonnay, could be Sam, could be something fucking suave. <laughs> One of the giveaways for this for me, and again, I'm gonna look ridiculous if this is wrong, but with aged Hunter Semillon, you get all of that, all of that kind of texture and, and, and weight and richness and honeyed character, but it maintains the freshness, like the acidity. Or it could just be 20, 20 year old Semillon. We go and play the man, which is always dangerous. Kids at home, play the wine, not the man, but I'm gonna play the man and go, you bought me an old, Semillon um, from like a small producer in the Hunter under cork. It just feels like Semillon and I'm playing the man. Wade, you're, you're a romantic. We're in Pacolban in the beautiful Hunter Valley. It's 80 degrees outside yeah. and I reckon you just really want a Hunter Valley Semillon. In fact, you probably got this from Mike's shed. <laughs> Fuck, but it could just be like an old chardy. Looks old, but um, oh, let's go. On release, it's a uh, Mount Pleasant Elizabeth 2001. And on release, it was uh, $12.99. Hunter uh, 20, 20, Valley Semyon. Yep. Price point feels good without being the very, very top tier. Let's go 35, 40 bucks. 40 bucks, aged Hunter Valley Semillon, 2015. Lock it in, Eddie. That's the correct answer. So, uh, do you want to both say what you thought it was? Yeah, sure. I, I was pretty bullish, Mike. Yep. Um, and first of all, like, I was very nervous because you had the home ground advantage here. Yep. I, so, you know, I concede the home ground advantage, but I think that's at the core of this wine, because I think this wine 
is a Hunter Valley Semillon. Or a, or a Semillon, as you, you like to call it. I went exactly the same. Mm. I said it was old. Me too. Um, I said it was probably under cork, mainly because Wade said- Oh, bonus it, points. It, I didn't even go the closure. Mainly, <laughs> well, mainly because Wade like, went, he needed a, I need a corkscrew. Have you got a corkscrew? <laughs> <laughs> And I went, we well, might need that for the first wine. <laughs> and then this old white wine comes out and I go, Shit. I reckon this might be under so, court. So how old? How old? <laughs> so I guessed because it's old. So cork, Hunter Valley Semillon, you've got to go back to early 2000s because I, I that, yeah, because the, the, it really came in here was like 03 was probably the big transition away from from cork to screw cap. So any Semillon's Hunter would be post 03 would, more than likely. I don't think it's from a great vintage, so I went 01. 01. And I went Mount oh, Pleasant. Mate. Yeah, it looks, a bit, it looks a bit like Elizabeth. Yeah, it, because it? it's got that richness. I went Elizabeth yeah. 01, and it was 12.99 on release. And Oh my God. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get schooled here. Well, I, no, I, didn't even, I didn't even think about the closure and the cork factor. I went uh, 2015, like, and I just thought it was quite developed and a bit fat. Yeah. Like, look, it looked, it's tasty, but like, feels like it's developed quick. I went 2015, I went sort of in that $40 range. So, but thinking about it now, I, I mean, I can't take back my answer. I reckon you're probably closer. I, I could be completely wrong. Like, let's... I didn't guess producer. I need to guess producer. You went, you went... I, Mount you get to go first. Oh, hang on, let me guess producer. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, 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 let's just go All right. Just to say, yeah. Thunder Corp. 2019. Oh, oh, it's the approach to relaxation. He's tricked us. It's a Barossa Valley Semillon. That's why we grow it in the Hunter, kids. <laughs> <laughs> he um, thought it was 22. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at, at least it looks varietal, though. It, at least it looks like It does semillon. look like Sam. It, it's, oh, that look, is such a... You're, you're tricky. And you ten, are sneaky. 10% Sab Blanc. Um, Under 15, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I've got price and vintage there and yeah. variety. Yeah. So all I've missed is region. You missed miss, miss region. Come yeah. on, round one. <laughs> to be kind to the to the wine and the lovely people, I, th these guys are great. And I mean, there's not that much Barossa Valley Semillon that I would drink, but I think it's pretty tasty. If you like 20, 22 year old Semillon. Look, it's, I, I, it's an interesting take. And look, I'm. A guy in the Hunter making fairly traditional style Semillon, and this is far from traditional. Um, it, but at much to your point, it looks like Semillon. Like yeah. it's, it's unmistakably it's unmistakably like Semillon. But it, there was something about it. I'm like, that does not. Um, it's like there was something like, is it, it's not those like, it's not a great vintage, or is it a bit oxidized? There was something yeah, weird yeah, about it yeah. that I didn't get. And I'm like, if you're going to bring Semillon to the Hunter Valley. Of course, you're going to bring Barossa. I, why, why am I so? <laughs> why am I so stupid? <laughs> we should chase him out. You can't, you can't bring a Barossa Valley semi on to the Hunter. Why am I so up. dumb? Right, round one, come yeah, on. Round of applause, mate. You did well. Mike, check. I am Mike, check. Checking myself. All right, wine two after the disaster that was wine one. Embarrassing. I'm feeling pretty good after wine number one, mate. I'd call it a crushing victory, but it's a victory all the same. How are you gonna get out after bringing, after bringing the enemy into the territory? I'd be more concerned about that rather than my reputation or lack thereof reputation. All right, so first thing with this, color. Quite light in color. Could mean a couple things. Could mean again a little bit of age, or could speak to the the variety. We're now moving into, by the looks, I would go light-bodied red territory. A little fragrant number. Ooh, it smells very nice. I like it. I like this a lot. It smells fantastic. Very pretty, alluring. It's it's you know calling you in. It's not. I was kind of looking at the colour. I'm going, oh, it's Pinot, and then picked it up and smelled it. It's like it's got some perfume, but. I'm not, go I'm not getting really varietal Pinot characters. I ain't getting a vibe. I'm getting a vibe. I'm getting an Italianate vibe. It's on the palate, it's not a bad drink. I wanna say it's old world. The world's a big place, it could be from anywhere, but it feels 
Italian and it feels like a certain part of Italy to me. I'm heading north. It doesn't scream Pinot to me. I'm, you know, it's got a little bit of development of the color, but that could be, you know, I'm careful now after the disaster of my 20 year old Hunter Valley Semion, this might be a you know, 2024 vintage Adelaide Hills, you know, fruit sample that you've bought with you. To, it's a, it hasn't finished fermenting yet, but I just thought I'd bring it up. Oh. But like Aussie, Aussie wines, I don't know, tend to be a little bit more, a little bit more overt. I, I'd say the same thing for a lot of French wines, Spanish, etc. It could even be like a Gamay or something like that. And, a little bit of that sort of meatiness, but yeah, a nice bit of, bit of perfume. I've got a feeling. So very, very light body. It's got some, it's got some length. It's got depth. It's got some structure, but it's very pretty. My gut feel is Italy. First instinct, maybe Sicily. It looks a little bit kind of Norello Masculese kind of esque. It also looks a little bit Nebbiolo esque. You wouldn't dare bring anything here, your sub $50 retail, thinking that you've traveled all this way, I'm just gonna take him a $35 Riverina. Yeah, I don't know, like fucking orange. It's a swinging bridge. <laughs> God, wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. It's really delicious. Can I just sit here and drink this wine? And, yeah. <laughs> Do I have to play the game? I think it's Nebbiolo, dude. Nebbiolo? I think it's Nebbiolo. Yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing the tannin the, the hectic tannin of, you know, of Piedmont, of Barolo, of Barbaresco. It could be a little langy neb, but even then you see more tannin. I, I, it's got me confused. I, it is a really, um, a stab in the dark, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's Adelaide Hills, it's Pinot. Um, it's 2021 vintage. Um, and it's, Seventy-five dollars. I think. I think you. Well, so I said Adelaide Hills, and I said Pinot, and I'm like, fucking no one in Adelaide Hills would sell a Pinot for thirty-five bucks in Adelaide Hills. Mm. It could be Australian if it's Australian Nebbiolo, Adelaide Hills. That is definitely an option. If it's Italian, to be honest, I'm probably going to guess it's like Valtellina. They make the prettier sort of styles of death. I think it looks, to me, pretty distinct in Nebbiolo. Now that I've said that, it's probably like Cabernet Sauvignon or Shiraz. <laughs> it looks like Neb. I'm very confident on Neb. I'm gonna guess like 2018, I guess, 29. Let's go 19. It's just really good and I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna just go with the Italian one. I'm gonna go Valtellina, Italian, Nebbiolo, 2019. And I'm gonna say price, I don't know, 75 bucks. Done. Are you really, are you really gonna lock that in? <laughs> I love this style of wine, yeah. and and that's what I really hope it is because it confirms why I love this style of wine. It's a beautiful wine. Okay. Selena, let's go. I just I throw at the dartboard and I think I've missed the board. All right. Why are you playing footsies with me? Well, what? you apparently know what this wine is. I feel, I feel pretty. And I that. did pick it up and go. It's fairly nondescript, plain, boring, dull. <laughs> And I thought if anyone will know that feeling, it would be you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no just, I, I have got to, as I said, I, I, I went, well, you tell me, you're very confident in what you've walked in I'm and confident. you're like, I've nailed it. I'm confident. I've nailed I mean, it. My first feeling with this, it looked like Nebbiolo to me. Oh. I, I, was, I was big on Nebbiolo, the color, the aroma profile, it just screamed Nebbiolo to me. And uh, didn't, didn't, obviously quite fine tannins, quite pretty, didn't, didn't feel, uh, Barolo Barbaresco. So for me, I was tossing up between, was it um, Australian and something like Adelaide Hills from like a Nouveau kind of producer. But then to be honest, I just thought it was really fucking good. And so I went to Valsalina and that's where I ended up. All right. I said Adelaide Hills, yeah. 2021. And I should, I, I didn't even know why. I didn't even think that'd be Olo. What did you, what did you I say? I went with Pinot. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it could be Pinot. It could be Pinot um, if... They didn't have the, I didn't, I, it was just a bit flat and like, the, I didn't see the tannin yeah. structure I would have expected from the Biolo. No. But to be a hundred percent honest, my brain didn't even go there. No. I was just and looking I mean, at the color here, and I here went. Here in the Hunter Valley, have you, you wouldn't have even try to Nibiolo, right? Never even heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> but my Italian heritage. Hunter River I, Barolo. Yeah, but I, I reckon you've nailed it because I'm, right. I'm as I said, my mind didn't even go there. So you, right, you, right, you, right. you've nailed it. Am I doing it? Yeah. Hey! Is, is uh, Alberto Ogero in Barcelona? 
No. No, they're not Valtellina, but Lange. close. Yeah. Sorry, Langy. No, uh, close enough. Anyway. Well done, mate. Because I, as close I said, my, my 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 brain didn't even go there. So isn't it fine and pretty though? Right? Or, yeah. or, or dull and nondescript if you very Italian. You yeah, very Italian. <laughs> <laughs> as a man of Italian well. heritage, it's, yeah. it's dull, dull, dull. How do you pronounce? it? It's got an A in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking kicking myself for that because I should have known better. 21, you got the vintage though. Ah, Which God. for some reason our score is That seem, doesn't seem to work. What? I oh, went 75. I went 75 too. You both went 75. So, and it's you got the vintage, which, so for some reason the vintage counts as much in yeah, our scoring vintage, system vintage. as the variety. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think you can but the audience at home will know who the moral victor is here. Mate, like, you, I'm, 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 and I, yeah. As soon round as three. Like, round three. All right, this is it. Uh, I think he's got me. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got a narrow lead. Just don't fuck it up. Yeah, unless I nail this, and just on aromatic profile alone, I think I'm I'm out of my comfort zone. Woo! All right, she's a little bit of a wild one. It looks French to me. Yeah. It, it, like, I, I'm, I'm not in, even in the zone of variety or region yet, but it just looks like a French red wine. There is a touch of the Dark Lord cometh among us <laughs> in this, which... Which would be what? A little bit ready. Yeah. It's got a little bit of what you might call a barnyard character. Not in like a totally charmless way. So, instantly looks to me a little bit lo-fi. So obviously we're in slightly... Uh, Denser red territory with a little bit more um, color and weight. I'm gonna say in the Cabernet family. I got a vibe. I've got a Cabernet Franc vibe. I got a Cabernet Franc vibe. It's got that Francky kind of nose. See, this is this is where he Tom's like, there's a fucking much bigger advantage to me. Like some fucking random producer from somewhere, and he'll go, it's blah blah blah. blah. I'm going. Oh, I remember scrolling through the Cabernet section on your website, and you had a Cabernet Franc from. Um, yeah, now it's got me fucked. Looks either yeah, lo-fi Australian, or to be honest, looks pretty French. <laughs> Hate to say it, sorry to all our French viewers out there. It just looks a bit, you know. Whatever, you know. It's an interesting subject because, you know, I'm a winemaker uh, and I, by default, pick up wines and look for problems with them. Um, and the first thing you see in that is go, oh, well, it's pretty, it's fucked, let's move on. Um, but then we'll go, you know, as wine show judge and you've got to look for the beauty sometimes in things. Sometimes it can be quite hypocritical, I think, as wine show judges and sit there and shit can wines all day. They have a little bit of bread and then go out for dinner and take a bunch of old Bordeaux and go, oh, isn't it terroir, so specific. So where could it be? It's not Bordeaux, uh, it's not It's not Beaujolais or Burgundy, uh, I don't think. So it uh, could be a little Languedoc thing, that could be Loire. For those playing along at home, you may have noticed that was actually the first time I've tasted the wine. So now I'm in the exact same place I was in the last round, where I'm thinking, this is a Loire Valley Cabernet Franc, or this is some kind of natural Adelaide Hills for the Cabernet Franc. Why the hills? I'm sorry, Hills. France. It feels French. I need variety. Cabernet. Cabernet Franc. Uh, 35 bucks. Loire Valley Cabernet Franc, 2018. Price. Let's go, I'm gonna go like 30, 35. No, I reckon it's like this. You've got you've got some wacky producer that you guys bring in that it's like a, a $45 Margaret River Cabernet. <laughs> I mean, I'm, like, I'm just going like that. And it'll be some producer that's got a really nice, sexy label. You guys, oh, isn't it beautiful? And you guys like fucking wank on about it and I'm going, Margaret River, a producer I've never heard of, it's 2019, and they probably asked for a ridiculous amount of money for a bottle for it, but I'm, I'm going to stick with my 35 bucks, because I may get that one right. Could be my cabinet, let's if it, it is, it. I'll just scrap it. So you didn't like it? I, I think we both agreed to me, it looked quite pretty. Yeah, um, I, I, I honestly struggled, I don't know, I just feel like I'm a fucking negative Nancy over here, and and I'm, I'm like, well, I, I just, 
don't want to offend anyone, but I, I, I'm like, I just didn't. They're, they're, I they're in France probably anyway, so don't worry about it. So what did you say? I, to me, my first thing was like, looks pretty. Yep. Right? And looks French. I think my first words Wade, was like, this looks French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it just it just looked that kind of barnyardy bready sort of character yep. stood out. Um, the, the palette, I thought, was juicy, oh. midweight. You know, I was tossing up, I guess, Cabernet Franc. Yep. And I was tossing up between, obviously, Loire um, or uh, Adelaide Hills again. <laughs> some <laughs> oh. Adelaide Hills thing, right? But it just it just didn't look Australian yeah. to me. It looked French. It I like, kind oh. of had two guesses as well because I went straight down your path of it's French. I was like, it's. I thought it was Cabernet. I could pick up. There it is, Cabernet. Family. family and then i just went before just as i was about to walk out the door i just went fuck it it's some wacky margaret river producer that you guys bring in because it's got a fucking pretty label and oh look at it and and it's probably like i don't know it's it's like ridiculously expensive and i've just shit can someone's <laughs> What's what? wrong with pretty labels? What's wrong with D D E I U L I I? <laughs> it's got too many eyes in it. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> is that how you spell it? Yeah. D -l 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 -l. Yeah. Um, All right, so Wayne, let's, let's reveal. Let's reveal. What is it? Mike, do the honors. All right. All right. Well, All right, it's got a go. cork in it. Oh, it's French. Come on. Oh. What is it? Shin on. Yeah. Cab for the win. win. Good right. on you, mate. You played at home. Nailed it. Look at that. Who's the producer? Oh, Bernard Baldry, Baldry, yeah. I, I do like this producer's wines. Is this just a little kind of entry level shit on or, or yeah, not? Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, no, no, it's like 50 bucks on the shelf. That's oh, just 50 bucks on the yeah. shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Entry level. Entry Is, level. When did 50 yeah. bucks become entry level? Particularly gnarly bottle of that. Like okay. That do we have a winner? Yeah, you uh, won. Yeah, you, you won on that alone. Yeah, I think someone takes it away. And honestly, yeah. if you win on that, I think more fool you. <laughs>